Welcome back to ARH Studios Collectibles booth. Uh, this is New York Comic Con 2014. Here I have the uh, great pleasure of having Mr. Frank Forzetta Jr. here. And uh, I wanted to ask him to sh give us some background and uh, some details about this statue. He's, he's, uh, we're very proud to have him here at the show. So, uh, there you Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Frank Forzetta Jr. Um, I'm working here with uh, Araham from ARH Studios. And all I can say is the essence and how he captured everything on his death deal statue is just totally incredible. My dad is no longer with us. He passed in 2010. But if he was here, he, he would have nothing to pick apart on this statue. Everything is like right on the button. The, the cru uh, crucial part of the statue is the neck and the head twist on this uh, death dealer character. This was conceived in 1972. He was approached by Ian Ballantyne from uh, Bantam Publishing to give his interpretation of uh, the symbolizing death in a war zone. And uh, my dad did this uh, death dealer painting in about three days. He did a few concept drawings and ultimately came out with this one in the horse. It was the iconic painting. It could never be surpassed, it could never be equal, and my dad came out of his mouth many times that way. It's just a perfect piece, and there was such a tremendous demand for, for more paintings of the same character. It took him probably 12 or 14 years to, to create a second piece, Death Dealer 2. But this character here is just incredible. I mean, I mean, you really, I would put another room on my home just to have this statue in my house. It's so incredible. Just look at everything. If you look at the original paintings back on the wall, Everything's in perfect proportion, the axe, the face, the essence of it. My dad would be so proud of it. I'm, I'm just ecstatic about how, what he's done with the work. And I know the poor sculptor probably went through hell because Araham really worked hard on him because he wanted this to be a one-shot, never have to be done again because this will be the ultimate piece. This will be the one that's being looked at and used as a symbol to uh, be judged based on this character here. I mean, there's been many other sculptures of this done over the years but nothing even close to this. And the other ones were very well well rendered and, and sculpted, but this is by far superior to that. I wish my dad was part of it, and, but his soul and his spirit is with us and uh, will continue on. Um, uh, I would certainly, if you're around and you see this, I would certainly get your order in soon because once they're sold out, that's gonna be it. And this is gonna be such a desirable collectible in the years to come, it's gonna be overwhelming because we're gonna have a select amount of pieces at our museum for sale, our website, but ARH is the way to go because he's the one who started this whole whole statue. And not to mention the other ones he's doing with the Huntress, uh, the uh, Atlantis statue, and the Conan the Barbarian. I think we have to call it the Barbarian legally, but it's all well done. And I, I just, I can't say how uh, ecstatic I am about it. I'm really pleased. And uh, hats off to him and the crew. Especially this guy right here trying so hard. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time.